What's up, guys? It's your boy Uzumaki Hado, and today I'm coming at you with a anime review. Yes, that Berserker, the Golden Age Arc 3, the event. Wow, what a great anime. So I've been a big Berserker fan for a very long time. I got up on Berserker because um, back in the day when Blockbuster was real big, they had a nice little anime section, and one of the workers pointed Berserker out to me. It wasn't even in the anime area. It was like in a whole different area. And I watched the, I watched the series years ago, fell in love with Berserker, and read the manga, caught up with the manga, and I just wanted more. And then they started coming out with the movies, and I had to pick them up. So, this movie here was just awesome. This is the third movie in the very popular series of the anime and the manga series. Berserker, this one right here was just amazing. So let's talk a little bit about the plot summary. So it's been about a year since Guts has went on his own. He has left the band of the Hawk. It's been almost a year since Griffiths has been holed by Midland and been tortured rigorously for, for a whole year straight. The band of the Hawk, they're barely holding on. They're putting a group together to try to save Griffiths. However, what ends up happening is a group of assassins come in and just start slaughtering a lot of good men who's left in the Band of the Hawk. Costco at the moment is running. She's the leader of the Band of the Hawk. However, these assassins is just slaughtering them and Guts just so happens to show up in the nick of time to save the day. They actually go out, save Griffiths. However, what ends up happening is Griffith is just so weak, he is just so beat up, his tennis has been cut in his hands, his arms, his legs, his tongue has been cut out, he would never walk again, it's just really, really sad, it's really, really bad. However, Griffith finds the bailet, he goes into the eclipse, talks to the god hand, and basically he becomes Falco, sacrificing the band of the hawk and becoming part of God Hand. So that is a plot summary. So a little bit about some of the characters. Casca, I like Casca. I really do enjoy this character. She had a lot of character development through the series. Now I will say in this one, she seemed really, really weak. Um, she seemed more feminine than anything else. I mean, through the whole series, she's just been this real strong character. Not like um, a lot of other animes animes when you see these females they're just so strong they're just not believable. Casca was a really believable character but in this series right here she just seemed so feminine she was just really weak. I seen her cry I seen her like just fall down I don't know was it just the pressure getting to her but it was something and I really kind of felt bad for it. Now for the next character I want to talk about is Guts. Oh my goodness Guts is just so awesome. He's a great character hands down. He's the one, one, one of the main reasons I keep reading Berserker. He's just awesome. He's a human with this extraordinary power. I mean this dude is just so great. When Griffith added him to the Band of the Hawk, he really made the Band of the Hawk himself. Like he gave the Band of the Hawk so much power. Not just that, he actually fought against Zod. I mean, this dude here is so powerful. When they went to save Griffith, he got so mad that he was literally cutting people down who had armor on. I mean, he was slicing literally through armor. Wow, that was just incredible. You have a better chance of running up on guts without armor because you would be faster. Like, what's the point of wearing armor when he can get sliced right through it? Guts, he doesn't give up. And not just that, Guts is just so good that he really actually made Griffith forget about his dream. Now, the next person we really want to talk about is Griffith. Wow, now this guy here is just something this incredible. Now, I'm a heterosexual male, but Griffith, Griffith this is just a pretty ass nigga. You just got to give props where it do. Griffith is just a pretty motherfucker. You don't see a lot of pretty men in fucking anime. Like, he just makes me feel uncomfortable. But Griffith, he's very intelligent, he's really, really skilled, and when Griffith and Guts really first meet up in the first movie, Griffith is over a little over Guts, he's a little more skilled than Guts, but at the end of 2, Guts had been, become so much more stronger than Griffith, he was able to defeat Griffith really easy. Griffith is a really cool character, I like him, I, I like the personality of Griffith because he has a dream, he goes for it, and the only person that really stopped him from his dream was Guts. Now, the next person I would like to talk about is Puck. Now, Puck, we don't get a lot of information on in the movie. I'm actually glad they added him in the movie. He's later on in the manga. He's a great character. He really brings a lot of com 
community um, comedy to the series. Sometimes I feel like he brings too much comedy to the series. However, he is one of Gut's companions. He's really funny. He's really like bouncy. He really lightens up the series. And sometimes I feel like he lightens the series up too much. Now for my favorite character in the series is Skull Knight. Skull Knight is just awesome. I love the character. I just love this character's design. I love how they added him in this movie because if you read, you watch the anime. He wasn't in the anime, but he was in the manga. And Skull Knight is just awesome. He's powerful. He's mystical like you don't know too much about his past now they talked a little bit about a man who ruled all over midland he became extremely powerful he ruled everything and god sent down four or five angels to destroy his kingdom because he became arrogant and i believe that is goal night it's not a lot of information online but if you know that information please let me know in the comment box below what's that skull night when he was alive and the angels was those angels the apostles? Because one thing we know, in the Eclipse, they say they're not gods, they're angels. And there are only four of them. So, once again, was these the four angels that came down and destroyed Skull Knight's kingdom? I'm really curious about this. Now, a little bit about the animation. The animation was great, it was pretty, it was awesome. I liked the 3D effects they had in there. Now, some of the things that I wasn't really happy about was some of the far out shots. It seems that some of the characters were just stuck in place. If you look like in the background, some of the characters were just like kind of like props. They wasn't moving. They were just stuck there in this odd poses. And me, when I watch anime and basically anything, I look at every little small thing. And even though there wasn't important, but it was still in there, they could at least had them like walking or maybe diggling their fingers or something of that nature. However, though, that's the only thing I would really take off about this anime. The storyline was great. It was awesome. I like how they added a little bit after Eclipse because in the anime, it's the Eclipse is is Griffith. He, go, he turns into Falco and he rapes Casca and that's it. In this one, we get a little bit after Eclipse. We get the Skull Knight saving Guts and Casca, and we get a little bit more information at the end. And that, to me, was extremely awesome. Now, one of the, some of the parts I really like to talk about is when Griffiths or Falco rapes Casca. I mean, wow, that was just so intense. Now, I remember the anime and the manga. The manga, I was like, wow, that's really intense. The anime, I really didn't feel anything. But this movie, I just felt so much more. I was like, oh, my God, come on, Guts, you got to save her, please. And I think that's just the good animation they did. That's the good plot and the storyline with this movie. It really just drew me in. So, overall, I'm going to rate this movie. The sound quality was great. The animation was awesome. The only... Um, con to this was some of the animation characters in the background was just stuck in place. So I'm going to rate this movie a 9 out of 10. Yes, I'm only removing one point. Berserker is a great anime. If you're looking for a good anime to watch or a good movie to watch, you should definitely pick up these movies. There's three in all. This is the last one that they just came out with and I recommend it. So that's all I have for you today. If I left something out, please leave it in the comment box. Below, please rate, subscribe, and comment. It really helps the channel. Thanks for watching. Matane.